For kids, being dizzy is fun. For grown-ups, not so much. By dizzy, I mean vertigo, the feeling that you or your surroundings are moving even when they're not. Vertigo can result from an infection, a migraine, a bonk on the head, or an amusement park ride. One rare disorder called Meniere's disease produces periodic severe attacks that put its victims out of commission for a day or more. You feel dizzy thanks to the parts of your ear that detect motion, your inner ear or vestibular system. Three semicircular canals sense rotation of the head, and two sac-like otolith organs detect linear motion and tilt. When you move, so does a jelly-like material inside each canal or sac. The motion of the jelly bends fine hairs, called stereocilia, on the surface of sensory cells. These cells transmit signals to the brain. This is how we orient ourselves, find our balance, and control our eyes so the world doesn't move whenever our heads turn. If the brain gets equal sensory input from both ears, it knows you are still. If the input is greater from one side, the brain thinks you are turning toward that ear. If one ear gets infected or hurt and falls silent, the brain will decide you are tumbling the other way. Voila, vertigo. From there, things can quickly go haywire. You vomit because your brain thinks you might have been poisoned. One eye drifts up, the other down, and both twist sideways in their sockets to compensate for a head tilt that does not exist. Then your brain hurls you to the ground in the direction of your hurt ear. It thinks you are falling in the other direction. Anyone feeling nauseated yet? For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Ingrid Wickelgren.